So you know, you can't decline receiving. You're being served essentially with a civil order right. from a judge. I'm going to receive so, it, but I'm... You have to sign saying that you received it because okay. just well, like you... Just, wait, sorry. Okay, but if you don't sign, it's going... You're going against the judge's orders. The judge is requiring you to sign saying you received your court date. You have to sign accepting your court date. Okay. I'm just letting you know this attorney is going to mess you up. Okay. They're not doing what's in your best interest. At least... Oh, I hate lightning. I'm sorry. Um, at least sign accepting your court date. Did this ponytail cop with the green fingernails tell the truth about anything? Stay tuned and wait till you see how pissed the judge got when he found out what these cops actually said. Welcome back to Here's the Deal. Roll the intro. Here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. So here's the deal. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Well, here's the deal. Here's the deal. So here's the deal. And here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Because here's the deal. Here's the deal. Either give me your ID or you go to jail. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? How about that? How about that? Here's the deal. Welcome back to the Here's the Deal channel. The Rawson Law Firm recently put out a video that highlights the reality of law enforcement today. And I know people don't want to think about this and they don't want to believe it's true, but law enforcement is trained to lie to you to extract information. This time, the lies are pouring forth from the Pembroke Pines Police Department in Florida. And we got to understand, lies don't protect and serve people they destroy lives. In the body-worn camera footage, the Pembroke Pines Police Department is serving an extreme risk protection order. This is the controversial anti-Second Amendment order, also known as a red flag law, where the state gives itself the power to take away your guns if anyone considers you to be a danger to yourself or others. They say it's temporary. But historically speaking, nothing has been more permanent than a temporary government policy. And the crazy thing is, this order can be signed and initiated even if someone you don't know anonymously calls to express concern about your possession of firearms. Crazy laws like this strip people of their rights and empower police departments. In this body cam footage, the Pembroke Pines Police Department went to a Ross and Law Firm client's house to serve this red flag extreme risk protection order and coerce this client into signing the order against the counsel of her attorney. Yeah, you're going to have, this is a civil, this has nothing to do with the criminal case. Yeah. Let me just explain that to you. Mm -hmm. This is specifically the city against the fact that you currently own firearms and have access to firearms and are not responsibly keeping them locked in a safe uh, and preventing your daughter from having access to the firearms. So this is a civil order. It's a restraining order basically against Go firearms, on. ammunition, and your concealed weapons permit. This has nothing to do with the criminal case. This but is something in addition. So that's, you don't have to answer any questions. You don't have to tell us anything about the civil case. This is specifically a risk protection order. That's a restraining order against firearms, ammunition, and your concealed weapons permit. So that's why you would have to sign accepting the fact that you have a final hearing where you can have somebody like a legal attorney or a, law a lawyer represent you at the final hearing that's going to be in about 14 days. So you're just accepting that you're getting your court date. That's what you're signing, essentially, saying that you're accepting your court date. The law firm's client here has one of her attorneys on the phone who's been held on retainer. The woman you'll hear on the phone, Susan Lawson, is a board-certified criminal trial law expert. Now, keep in mind, it generally takes seven years of school to become a lawyer. This includes four years of undergraduate study and three years of law school. But anybody can become a cop in just six months. This is attorney Susan Lawson speaking to her client and to the cops. Okay. You're not agreeing to stipulations, but she'll... Okay, so you, by signing that you have a final hearing, you, you obviously wouldn't be agreeing to it. 
you're agreeing that you're going to go to the hearing. It's basically what you're signing, saying that you received your court date and you're going to go to the hearing. If you don't go to the hearing, just so you know, the judge is going to grant the order. This badged Pembroke Pines public servant continues to try to pull the wool over this woman's eyes by telling her that the police have her best interest at heart and her attorneys don't. As you listen to this, just know that the barrage of coercion, intimidation, and threats intensifies. So you know, you can't decline receiving. You're being served essentially with a civil order right. from a judge. I'm going to receive so, it, but I'm... You have to sign saying that you received it because okay. just well, like you... Just, wait, sorry. Okay, but if you don't sign... It's going, you're going against the judge's orders. The judge is requiring you to sign saying you received your court date. You have to sign accepting your court date. Okay. I'm just letting you know this attorney is going to mess you up. Okay. They're not doing what's in your best interest. At least, oh, I hate lightning, I'm sorry. Um, at least sign accepting your court date. If you have a cop saying, this is all this is, it's not an admission of guilt. By signing, you're only saying that you're accepting your court date. That's all it is. Just like we saw in this video entitled, Cops Tried Everything to Make Him Guilty, when a cop says, I'm only trying to have a conversation with you and with this cop, by signing, you're not admitting guilt, you're only accepting your court date, the truth is usually found in the opposite direction of what the cops are claiming. Now the attorney tells the cop that she'd like to see the document for herself and go over it before anybody signs anything. We can't, we are, it's an injunction. This is a court order from a judge. She has to sign this. She has to sign saying she has she a, was getting served. she has a final hearing in 14 days. And I, I'm going to give you that date, but essentially that's when you can prepare everything for her and represent her and say all the reasons why she doesn't meet the needs for a final order of 12 months. This, you have to sign it before you know what it says. Sounds just like what Nancy Pelosi tried to pull. But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. What could possibly be the harm of having the lawyer and the client read the document before they sign it, unless there's something the cops are trying to hide. Can the attorneys accept service on her behalf? No, we cannot, because the whole thing behind the risk protection order is that she is served with it and that she is in compliance with the order. The cop turned her body camera off and the client hung up the phone with her attorney and then she ended up signing the document. Here is what she signed. Not just an agreement to accept a court date like the cop assured her, she accepted the full restraining order against her. So the cops didn't just trick her and lie to her, they coerced her, intimidated her, and threatened her into signing it. They gave her the impression that she had no other choice and that if she didn't sign it, she could face some serious legal repercussions. Look at number three here. Respondent agrees that Pursuant to the agreed final order granting risk protection, she shall not have in her custody or control any firearms or ammunition and shall not purchase, possess, or receive a firearm or ammunition and shall not make any application for a concealed weapon permit. The cop told the lawyer and the client that she can't give them the opportunity to look over this document. They have to sign it. Even though entry seven states, respondent agrees and acknowledges that she has had an opportunity to review this stipulation and the agreed final order granting petition for risk protection with an attorney of her choosing. The complete opposite of what was afforded by the Pembroke Pines Police Department goons. After the client signed the papers, the next day the attorneys requested the body cam footage. The legal department for the Pembroke Pines Police Department initially didn't want to release the footage, so they had to file a motion in front of the judge to get access to that footage. According to the Rawson Law Firm, the judge was furious with the Pembroke Pines Police Department, saying that if the law firm's allegations are true, the police have some splaining to do. The judge granted the request to get the body cam footage. They got it, filed a motion to vacate the restraining order, and it was granted. They also filed internal affairs complaints against the lying officers. 
So the next time you talk to the police and they assure you that what they're saying is the way it really is, maybe think about this video and the other ocean of evidence that points to the fact that this class of costumed clowns is trained to deceive you in any way they can to get you to submit to their authority. If you like this video, maybe you'll like some of my others. Stick around and check out the most popular playlist. Don't forget to help me overcome the censorship algorithms by leaving a comment. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Subscribe to my email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. That's highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel, the links are in the description. You can also become a channel member and grab a hard-hitting conversation starting design that you can put on any shirt, hoodie, mug, cell phone, case, hat, whatever you want. Remember, freedom is dangerous. The only thing more dangerous is not having it. I'll see you in the next video.